voice and language from the heart. And I think that's so interesting and it makes me wonder if this has to be language per se or if you could use this tone of voice and language from the heart to speak to babies before they speak and even if you're not using language. Well, I mean, I think that's the idea. So you're, you're trying to bring the baby along, engage the child at a time before there's any word, even before babbling, comes out of that baby's mouth. In fact, what mer most parents erroneously think, many of them anyway, mm -hmm. that the baby's not talking yet, so I, it, my talk to the baby isn't important. And that nothing could be less true. Because while that baby's brain is still not able to put it together to, to even babble or to say a word, that brain is operating in a way that is so sophisticated. We can look at the baby brain now at two months, at four months, at six months. You know, this is before cooing. Cooing doesn't happen until uh, 12 weeks, so three months. So when you look at these little munchkins, two-monthers in the big brain machine, you've got this little peanut you know, in a big brain machine, totally non-invasive, and you see that brain when an adult talks, doesn't even have to be the mom or the dad, talks to that baby using this motherese parenty signal, and you can see that brain just come alive in all the areas you'd expect, auditory areas, but also in the areas that that baby's gonna use to talk back. And so this engagement process, the reason you need to talk to babies, you should talk to babies, is that your talk to them, and particularly when it's that wonderful, you know, social, emotional, and linguistic signal, and they're only two months of age, it's already activating motor centers in the brain that they're gonna to need to use to talk back. So this is like rehearsal. These are like motor social areas wanting to get into the conversation. They want to engage. They want to be part of this thing we do when we're face to face and we talk to each other. Mm -hmm.